Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. For the stuff you love, guard it with Gator. Today's tip is the best wood for acoustic guitars. Let's get into the woods, the guitar woods, for Earth Day and Arbor Day and International Guitar Month, too. So, question. What do spruce, maple, mahogany, koa, ebony, and rosewood have in common? Well, as you might guess, they are woods used in guitar construction. But why are these woods, and a few others, best for acoustic guitar construction? Listen on to find out. In today's episode, we'll explore the unique tree species essential for creating the perfect acoustic guitar. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, thank you for joining us from Taiwan. Nigeria, Israel, Norway, and Costa Rica. Don't forget, when you leave a positive review, I'll give you a shout out in an upcoming episode. So, acoustic guitars are built for both sound and durability, and only certain tree species are suited for acoustic guitar purposes. Those woods are called Tone woods, which is the type of woods that have the consistent acoustic guitar qualities for stringed instruments. There are more than 60,000 tree species, but only a few have the properties necessary to make a quality guitar. First of all, trees are either classified as evergreen or deciduous. The main differences between the two are that evergreen trees keep their leaves all year. Deciduous trees shed their leaves seasonally. By the way, in the episode on October 14th, 2021, I get a little bit more nerdy about the science of trees, so check it out. The link is in the show notes. Evergreen trees are considered softwood because they are fast growing. Deciduous trees are considered hardwood trees because their growth slows as the leaves shed and the wood becomes more dense. Evergreen or softwood trees include spruce and cedar. Deciduous or hardwood trees include mahogany and rosewood, to name a few. There are specific woods that are best for the different parts of an acoustic guitar, and you'll often find a combination of woods, like one species for the top or soundboard and a different species for the sides and back. For the top or soundboard, which is considered the most important component because it projects the sound from the body and is generally made using soft woods because they are flexible and yet still strong enough to withstand tension. The most common soft woods used for the topper soundboard are spruce and cedar. In contrast, the sides and back provide stability for the sound, so it needs to be a strong, dense wood like mahogany, koa, maple, and rosewood. 
For example, my favorite guitar that I play has a spruce top and rosewood sides and back. As far as the neck, hardwoods are necessary because it needs to withstand the tension created by the strings and your playing. The neck woods used are typically rosewood or mahogany. The fretboard, the top of the neck, is usually made with ebony, rosewood, or maple. The bridge should also be a hardwood to withstand the tension and vibration of the strings. Rosewood and ebony are common bridge woods. So celebrate Earth Day, Arbor Day, and International Guitar Month by learning all you can about guitar tree species. After all, it's good and you should understand acoustic guitar wood. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.